Oh, that's the ultimate jackening. Hey guys, this is my review for Logan, the third installment of the Logan Wolverine series. And we finally got a good one, people. Finally. And it's kind of an interesting sort of progression with the series. The first one, Origins, was awful. Wolverine was good, but it was flawed. And the flaws outweighed what was good about it. So it was a flawed, entertaining film. This one has issues, but it is a solid film. It has solid action. It has solid maturity, that hard R. It has a solid theme, and it has a solid story. Everything about this film is a retribution of everything that was done wrong in the last two movies. Logan is a piece of shit, really. Not so much of a character, but literally his body. He's dying, and the mutants are all gone. They're living in almost not really a post-apocalyptic wasteland. We kind of got that idea, but it really is just Mexico. So, <laughs> it's the future. He's hanging out with Charles, who's suffering from dementia and seizures that can possibly kill everyone. And he's trying to raise enough money to get on this boat to go out to sea. It's more so like a failing ideal of what to do to get away. But then they come across this girl who has similar traits to that of Wolverine in terms of mutant abilities. And he's thrown into a mission to try and save her, get her to safety, whilst he does not want to. This is perfect. The R works. Now, a lot of people, me included, thought that when they've slapped R onto this movie that it was literally just for the sake of doing an R-rated film because Deadpool worked. No. This actually is R. It's coarse, it's full of vulgar language, and the gore is nuts. The fight scenes are incredibly graphic. I've never seen... I always wondered what it would be like to see a shit ton of blood be spilt when Wolverine's cutting up people. The only ever time we ever had that was the Wolverine Origins video game. Well, guess what? You got that video game in a movie. This was such a fun ride, but it also has a lot of slow, somber moments that work with the character developments. There's a few twists and turns that I was expect exceptionally surprised by. However, there are some moments that are incredibly predictable. The main villain is lackluster because he's not given enough screen time to be really developed. And the conclusion is good. It's act it is good. It's a perfect way to end the series. But I feel there's still a little bit more they could have done with this film. Also, the little girl, she's badass. She's awesome. She kicks so much ass, except I can't understand what she said at the end of the movie. Her accent is so harsh that... I don't know, I, I, it might be because I've got a sinus infection right now, maybe it's affecting my ears, but I couldn't understand a word she said in the final scene that she was in. So, yeah, either way, I enjoyed this film. It is the best one of them, but there are a lot of flaws, as is common with X-Men films. There are a few plot holes and there's a few predictable elements, but the maturity and the overall product is a final is finally a good movie something that we've wanted from the series for so long something that Hugh Jackman has tried so hard to bring and we finally got it, it just took three times to get there anyways I'm gonna give Logan a 5 out of 7 you guys should see it it's probably one of the best X-Men films made definitely recently it's up there now like how i put mine is days of futures past x-men 2 and now i'm kind of in between between first class and logan so anyway guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review i'll see you guys next time